Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. So today's video is a comparison video with these two machines that have currently hit the market up here. Both sides, we have the Bamboo Labs AMS attachments. This side, we have the Sunlu AMS. And over here, we have the EBOS Series X Tetra. And both of these I have reviewed on my channel. So definitely check out those individual reviews. I'll leave links in the description for that. Now, what we wanna do is see what my opinion is on which is the best out of these two AMS heaters for the AMS unit. Now, I know that we have the AMS Pro now, which has the heater capabilities, but with so many AMS units on the market, not everyone wants to go out and repurchase the AMS Pro just to have heating technology. Now with these two units, you can do that. But the difference is, is what we're gonna go into in this video. So let's see who wins out in this race today. And that's where we're gonna go. So in a list of pros and cons for each of these two units, I'm gonna tell you what my thoughts are. Now I have, like I say, reviewed both of these units so I can give you a definitive answer. There is a price difference. So over here with the Sunlu, it is retailing just over $100. They did say it was $100 or less, but from what I've seen in the community, it's around about $110 per unit that's outside of their special event. Over here, we have the EBOS Series X Tetra. Now this is retailing at as $179 at the moment, $179, but for me, the price of this unit over here might outweigh this just because of the cost difference. Doesn't mean that you're gonna get a better quality just by saving $80. But let's look into this, and this is where we're gonna roll the tape. Stay with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to 3DB UK Tech Channel, and let's take a look at these two units in depth and what my thoughts are and where you should put your money. Stay with us. Okay, so taking a look inside the Sunlu attachment, very easy to install, just the four screws. That literally is it for this unit. You don't get the individual bays. Like I say, just the attachment is the only requirement. Inside, you will have the two heating elements um, and the blower fans. So the temperature range is between 35 degrees and 70 degrees, and the humidity range is between 10% and 90%. Okay, so taking a look at the back of this uh, unit, um, you will notice a manual exhaust port. Um, this is just to allow some of the humidity to escape. Now, it is required to be open during use. Now, that is something that I would say is not ideal. At the back, you will notice a power connection and an on-off switch. And what we're doing now is quickly check the touchscreen. And we'll see how that actually reacts. Okay, so now with the screen itself on, um, you will notice that it has all the values that have been preset in there. It does have multiple types of um, user values, so you can use it for PLA just by making the changes to the mode or set changes. There shows the temperature and the time range and your current humidity levels that are showing on screen. You can make changes just by pressing the set button and then selecting what type of material you're going to be using and anything from PLA to TPU, ABS, PETG and so much more. You can actually make manual changes to this screen as well. So this unit has a maximum power output of 500 watts and a standby power output of 0.6 watts and in total use of this machine. Cosmetically, this may change due to the fact that this is a beta version and the actual screen itself has been used in previous models of Sunlu dryers by all of accounts from the community. So now let's take a look at the eBosch Series X Tetra in its entirety. Much like the Sunlu version, you will need to change the lid over to this unit. With this, you do have some additional items to carry out, such as the adding of the brackets and the screen and some cable management. Each screen is individually controlled with an internal compartment completely unique to this. So each compartment is uniquely heated, which stands out for this particular unit. You can see the heater element at the back and let's take a look over the entire machine itself. 
So this particular unit has a power rating of 60 watts per channel with a total power output of 240 watts if you were using all four chambers at the same time. Like I said, this stands out for being able to use just one at a time. At the back you will notice the auto opening of the air chamber and this is activated as soon as the machine turns on. Taking a look at the screen, these are individually controlled just by changing the mode settings. You can change from PLA, the temperature, the time and you can also monitor the humidity levels on an individual basis for each chamber. Each chamber is carried out as an acrylic cover. So you've seen the two different machines now. So we had the Sunlu AMS attachment, heater attachment, and we had the EBOS Series X Tetra attachment, both for the AMS unit for the Bamboo Labs. Now, you would have seen the two comparisons of what you get in each of those two units. Now, my opinion, if we're going on pros and cons, I'm definitely heading towards, or certainly leaning towards the EBOS Series X Tetra. Now, the reason for that, Number one, you have the individual heated chambers of the Series X Tetra. Whereas on the Sunlu, it is one complete chamber with just the two heating elements. Now with that, you are only heating the whole unit. So if you've only got one spool in there, you're heating the whole unit. So there is some power consumption being done there. And if you're running a print farm, that could make a huge difference to the cost outlay. Over here with the Series X Tetra, however, yes, you have the four screens. That's probably one of my cons for the Series X Tetra is that you have four individual screens. You can heat each chamber individually. So once again, one spool, one heating chamber. And with the individual acrylic slots, it truly does make it an individual chamber. Um, in terms of the fact that uh, you get the four individual screens. That really is my only con for this particular unit. And the reason for that is the rear, that, uh, the real space that it takes up at the front and it looks a bit heavy. It looks a bit overly done with lots of cables, etc. But both of these both took 10, 15 minutes to install. So obviously the Sunlu AMS unit attachment outweighs time cons consuming install. It's just four um, screws in the end, whereas this is four screws, but also the wire attachment and the attachment of all the under tray, etc. But looking at those individual videos now of what you get with each unit and my opinions, I'm really heading towards the EBOS Series X Tetra, in my opinion. For the extra $70, you're getting the opportunity to potentially save long term, especially if you're running a print farm, like I said, that print farm, you could have 20, 30, 40 printers, especially with Bamboo Labs, that seems to be one of the main go-tos for print farms. If you've got that many heater units running on full whack or one out of four or two out of four units running, it's, it's a no brainer for me. That $70 that you're spending extra on here over that uh, period of however many machines you've got could far outweigh the longevity and the cost saving just by running just one unit. Um, like I say, EBOS are looking at making a dual version of this. That'd be something to look forward to potentially. Um, also, with the um, AMS unit attachment for the Sunlu, you only have one cable which is in the back. That kind of, that's the only wire you get for that. Whereas on the EBOS, you have three or four wires um, connecting up the screen and the heater unit, and then you have the individual wire connecting up to the power cable. Um, like I say, that would be my pros and cons for both of those. Now, like I say, the packaging for both of them came pretty much uh, the same. I would say the Sunlu was slightly less packaging and slightly less um, in your face in terms of like the look of it, but that's, that's not really that important. They both come well packaged in my opinion. Now, aesthetically, on the outside of the Sunlu, now bearing in mind the video that I showed you and the um, actual unit I'm showing you now is a beta version, so there could potentially be some changes to this. 
I know they will be. Um, they mentioned that to me in some of the paperwork they supplied to me. Now, cosmetically, the Sun Lu is very much like the EBOS Series X Tetra. So it's a square unit, there's no curves to it. But with the, X, uh, with the um, Series X Tetra, it is a clear translucent acrylic uh, cover. So you can see your spools. With this one, this particular beta model of the Sunlu AMS unit, it is a blackened out acrylic. So you can't see if you've got spools in there. Not that that makes a difference. You lift up the lid, check it, whatever. It's a very cosmetic thing and potentially the beta version could change that. Now, like I say, these are the two units. These are the prices. So we got $110 approximately after the um, event. And over here, we got $179 and that's the current selling price. Now, all of these are available worldwide, I believe. So, but you'll need to check with the suppliers with that. But overall, my opinion from 3DP UK Tech Channel, having reviewed and used both of these units, they're both easy to install. They both do the job. However, for me, the EBOS Series X takes this round, in my opinion, that it takes the round to say, this is worth the money. Now, the individual heated chambers, the automatic air venting versus just the latch uh, to remember to open that. Sun Lu did say that you need to make sure that you open that when in use. It's not automatic, so it's all based on you remembering to manually move it. That's another con for me. Over here is the auto vent, and the auto vent comes on as soon as you turn on the screen for that individual chamber. Like I say, check out both of my reviews on it for a more in-depth specification, but these are the two units available right now outside of the Bamboo Lab world for the Sunlu AMS unit and the EBOS Series X Tetra unit. These are the two available right now. For me on my channel, EBOS Series X takes it just by a very small amount, just based on those simple pros. It's your choice now. Look forward to getting some comments for you, ask some questions. I'm more than happy to answer them in my comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That's Phil from 3DB UK Tech Channel. Take care, everyone.